I'm going to do this one with the cell phone. Maybe the audio will be better. Um, back in the camper. Obviously, we got Stewie. A um, little we'll debate on why this isn't running right. And one of the people in the forums that I was asking said that uh, he wanted to take a look at the engine so he could tell me what kind it is. I, I think it's 351 from memory. But he's right. It could be 400. So I asked him what part of the engine should we look at. I have yet to get an answer. I haven't been back on the forum. I'm out here now and I have about an hour to kill. So I've never taken this doghouse off. So that's what we're going to do. Quick look. Since we're going to do this. There's one. I don't see one down there. Over here, I assume. Sun, sun right in my face. I don't know if you're gonna get this enough. There's another clip over here. And this one's a little bit lower than the other side. What's that? Okay. Hopefully that's in frame. There is a piece of gray PVC in here and I would like to know what that is. If you know, let me... Oh, you know what? That might be the drain for the air conditioner. If I'm right, let me know. Alright, let's see if we can get this... I'll put you there. Nope. Oh. Well. Okay, apparently we need a wrench. It's like 9 sixteenths maybe. Half inch, 9 sixteenths, somewhere in there. Okay, it looks like I will be editing this after all. Yay! All right, let's see if the pause button will work for me to, long enough for me to get a wrench. Maybe I will get to do this in one take. Oh no! Hey. Yay! It's half inch. Now, I'm doing this basically leaning forward over the seats. My knees are in the back of the, somewhere in the back of the camper, holding me up. One of the things that was passed around was perhaps the exhaust is clogged. I'm thinking about it, it might be. We got a lot of huffing, puffing noises coming out from under this thing we're removing. These under the thing with the wrench so I can find them again later. If I get that out, where do I put it? And where do I put you? I don't know. I can't see what you see, so... Nope. Does this lift? There we go. Oh boy. 
Maybe I should have left this alone. I don't know. I'm thinking I should have left this alone. Well, damage is done now. Now, where do I put that? How do I get this out of the way? Hang on. I'm going to pause you again. The short answer is, I don't know where to put this. And the long answer is, I can get the camera in here, I think. Enough to see what's going on. First thing I see here. Take some pictures of that. That must be the throttle. Long catalyst. That means this did not come with. I'm really sorry about the shaky camera. This did not come with a catalytic converter on it. So the second thing I see is let me get you get you somewhat level here. Here's, that must have been insulation that got eaten. Now hopefully, hopefully this gives my new car guy friend an idea of what we're dealing with here. That's capped off. shots here that aren't shaking all over the place. I'm going to take a picture of that at the end of the video, but if you... It is about 100 degrees in here right now too. November 2, 100 degrees in New England. It's a really nice day out. It's just the sun's been beating in here. Okay, if you... um know what engine that is or if I captured it on the uh, label there I'll find out for myself but if you know what it is put it in the comments for me um, is it a 351 Windsor I'm told the 351 Marine was never used in Fort Vance so is it a 351 Windsor or is it a 400 or a 400 M uh, it might be the 400. I don't remember. I remember discussing both engines with my grandfather back in the day because I had bought a, an F-250 with a 400M engine in it. And I, I, just, I don't remember. I don't remember what the conversation was. I remember the two engines coming up and him bragging about this one going up hills and passing his buddy's motorhome uh, with a bigger engine and you know, million dollar motorhome back in the day and he'd just fly up hills in this and his buddy would be way back behind. Um, it is definitely not flying up any hills in its current condition. So we're going to work on the engine identification. I'm going to try and put this doghouse back in so I don't end up full of an animals and have a family of cats and a rabid rat running around in here. And I think my next step on this is to look at the exhaust, which is rotted away anyway, and maybe cut the cut the mufflers out and put new ones on it and a new tailpipe because it needs it anyway. But we'll find out. It's it's very very possible that the um, mufflers got packed full of acorns and whatnot after sitting for so long so it does have an exhaust leak up here or 10 so maybe maybe it's clogged if it is i got a i got a remedy for that it's a little thing called sawzall all right let me know i i appreciate the help i really do and if you could let me know what that is and we'll go from there.
And if there's something you want to see on this, a uh, different angle, different view, uh, if you know what that PVC pipe is down there, put it in the comments and uh, I read them. I read them all. I, I never get any, but I mean, one one every month or whatever. I read it. I, re I read that comment that that one person puts up. So, yep, let me know and uh, we'll... We'll dig deeper into this at some point. 